on WLWT, new details in a crash in Westchester. It killed a utility worker and injured four of her co-workers. The driver suspected of being distracted and under the influence. The 23-year-old driver crossed the center line, hit a cone, a utility truck parked in the shoulder, and five utility workers. Good evening. I'm Cherie Palello. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. This crash happened on Cox Road in Westchester almost two weeks ago. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live right now in Westchester with exclusive new details on what police think the driver was doing before that crash. Karen? And Mike, the driver of the car still hasn't been charged. The accident happened here on Cox Road. But according to these documents released to me today, police found drugs in the car and believe the 23 year old was impaired. This 2004 black Chevy Cavalier, a key piece of evidence in the case Westchester police are building against the driver. According to search warrants obtained exclusively by WLWT, police suspect the driver, who we are not naming because she has not been charged, was not sober when she plowed into five utility workers. The documents read, based on officers on the scene, it is suspected that the driver was under the influence of drugs and or alcohol at the time of the accident. It is also suspected that the driver may have been using the iPhone while operating her vehicle. During a search of the car, according to a return to search warrant, police found a few pills, three Aprazolam, which are essentially Xanax tablets. Police have not said what the driver's blood alcohol level was. They say she was heading north on Cox Road, crossed the center line, and slammed into a group of utility workers who were working in a marked construction zone in the southbound shoulder. All five were taken to the hospital. 24-year-old Amber Rooks of Norwood died over the weekend from her injuries. Police say charges are pending against the 23-year-old driver. And Westchester police have not said what charges they're pursuing, but according to these documents, prior to Rook's death, they were looking at four counts of aggravated vehicular assault, operating a vehicle under the influence, and driving while texting. Reporting live tonight in Westchester, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. The driver was also hurt in that accident. We're still waiting on an update on her condition. We tried reaching out to her family, but have not heard back yet.